Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a multiplayer battle between me and Nilla. This was a ranked game online, so it's totally random. I was playing a meme division for fun on the stream. I was playing Ski Jaeger. One of my favorite divisions, though. So I love, gotta love to play it. And then we see Nilla, a top player, one of the best, probably the best American player. Uh, people could argue otherwise. I think he is. And then we got, he's playing his 17th SS. After this, is a, this is the first game of three games. Me and Nilla, after this game, will go into our own uh, create our game and then play with the league rules with their bands and the map picks and the map rolls and such. Oh, it'll be a little more even. But um, anyway, let's take this thing off. <clears throat> Nil opening up on the left. I'm opening up on the right. Let's just look around for a second. Nil, uh, I'm sorry. I'm opening up with some Sturmjaeger, Jaeger. I got no flame troops. I'm trying to get in here. I'm also trying to set... I'm setting a skeleton force to center. I'm trying to send a lot of forces up to the north. We're seeing Nilla and not too many forces there. Decent amount of forces in this area. Lots of forces in center. <clears throat> Actually, it looks like he diverts a lot to this area. And he has a, a huge push down here. So this is where the action is going to be. Let's kick this thing off by the panel. Everything's going right. Yeah, all right, there we go. You see me moving up. T-34, T-3045, and two T-34s. Actually, three T-34s are the leader. A lot of investment for me in the north. Not too much investment in the south. Maybe we should invest it a little more. I kind of have blank here. Uh, just a big mistake. And it like, capitalizes on it. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I forgot the tractions were, like, the trademark of these decks. I'm gonna get an MG42 here. Like, I thought I could get here first. And, like, once again, I totally derped out and, like, forgot tractions. <laughs> like, I don't know what was wrong with me. A little slow on the wheel. And, man, he comes in here hard. He's on. He's already in this area. Dug in. Like, I've seen a Panzer Strike thinking I can get there. Not even close. I get caught out in, my, in the open because of this. I actually should have kept driving because these are flame troops. Not something that's smart on my part. I tried setting a pack gun here. Little do I know. It was everywhere. He's all over me. And he just he's just thrashing my center. Like, this is such bad. Aircraft opening up from Nilla. So, 65 points with some SPWs coming in reserve. Nothing bought by me. Some T-34s. Already seeing a bulge in the line. I'm starting to push back Nilla a little bit here. But... We got a lot of triple vetted pioneers. Whoa. So you must double vet them. Unfortunately, I can't show the decks off. I would show off. I mean, we could show off my deck after this game. But, um, I couldn't get. I don't have Nilla's deck. I don't have a. It's not a league game, so I don't, like, have a list of them. Um, the database. I lose my T3485. Really smart play by uh, Nilla here, putting in a pack 38 with APCR around. <clears throat> I'm starting to roll Nilla on the southern flank. The northern flank, sorry. So that's, that's good. I'm going to be able to grab this flag. But right now I'm being double ticked and it's already like becoming a total disaster. So that's like I'm trying to get in here. But his double vetted pioneers with all their beautiful frag grenades that can't be countered by any of my flame troops because the ski Eager gets no flame troops are being annihilated. I was kind of hoping he'd bring flamethrower. Uh, I mean, that's the problem with that. Ski Eager. Ski Eager is pretty good, I think, against ally divisions. But without... Because a lot of the ally divisions rely on Tetsuniki. Another cheap flame infantry and then the Sturm Jaeger don't care because they'll you know they'll throw a Molotov at them instead of like a pioneer when, sorry when a pioneer wants to throw its frag it cannot be moving so Tetsuniki you get the Molotov up first and then make that unit move and then the Tetsuniki can eat them up because the pioneer can't throw its frag but the thing with Sturm Jaeger against Tetsuniki is they get fragged they have all the you know whatever you want to call it uh mp44s which is shred infantry MP44, yeah, yeah, it is. <clears throat> Isn't it the SG44? I can't remember. Is that an MP? That's an M. That's a P there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My weapons are right. Seeing a disaster striking down here. I'm trying to get up here. You can see me making moves. Again, Nilo with a good positioning, looking down the road. It says he can't see me, and I thought he couldn't, but he can. Nilo bringing in a G1, coming after me. Bring up a T3045. A lot of SBWs here. He's got those cheap uh, pack guns that can pretty much take out any tank in the CQC combat. I take this flag, fortunately, making it even. If I can just take out the forces. I'm sending some uh, Sturm Jaeger to support the push. Also sending some Ski Jaeger to hold this flag from any pushing. Same another one there. And just some tanks moving up to secure the flag. I'm down two, fla wait, yeah, two flags in the center. Um, but yeah, this is, this is where I need to fix. 
seeing uh, Nilla reacting, bring up a Volksdeutsch so that he can uh, get this flag back, giving him another tip fl free flag that he shouldn't really be down on. Luckily, my T-34s are making progress, the G1s. Cannot really hit them because they're in the forest and it keeps losing sight of them. This thing cannot kill anything if it loses sight. I'm sending out my ME-109 G6. Can't recounter uh, Nilla there. Unfortunately, I get, again, I am out of position. Termiager were designed for CQC combat with range of 300 meters. Caught out by flight 500 meters in the open. Now they're being absolutely shredded, except the CQC Pioneer who's able to return fire. I'm able to shoot down the aircraft and get out of there. Getting some infantry here. So it's doing it's not looking bad, but like terrible for me. I've lost the center though. Total collapse. And I made a mistake. Like I think if I didn't make the mistake here, where these guys got caught out in the open, maybe sent an armored car, I don't know, like a light tank or T thirty four or something like that. I don't get armor cars, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Just like some standard infantry. Could have been a different situation. I could have cleared out this area, giving me this area locked down and helping me just have to fight in the north and center. But instead I made I made, made that air. Now I'm gonna have to invest more resources here instead of north and center. Being to a pretty much a little uh, collapse on my on my end. They love grabbing this flag. So Manila's making good progress there. A lot of action coming up from the north. SS Legionary coming in the forest. They are going to shred in there. Legionary are awesome. ME109 trying to go in. ME109. There we go. Get the kill. Two aircraft down. B6s are paying for themselves. At least on the T34. The Stug 4. Stug 4s are the Sherman killers, by the way. If you have problems with Sherman, Stug 4. Bring them up. Uh, they have the penetration of a Panzer IV, but the armor of a Sherman, so max range. You know, you go that like yeah, you just it's just better in every regard. The Sherman's at max range with three vetted and three vetted uh, Panzer IVs. Shermans are going to win because the Panzer IV has less armor. I think it's got 75 mil, and the, and it has 135 penetration, but the Sherman only has 100 penetration and like 100 armor, 90 armor depending on the model. It's just yeah, not a good. Like you can, they can easily pen a max range. So, but the Shug Four has the armor and the gun, and it's double vetted. Is it a leader bringing her out? No, so you must double vet it. Unfortunately, I wish we could see his deck, but we don't. Double vetted. That's just legionary coming in too. More of them are coming up. Those guys are scary. Seeing some SS legionary Shug Four coming down here. I'm trying to get more in troops in here. Bring up a T thirty four eighty five. Your assistant killing this, and then moving down here. Seeing a pack gun moving up from Nilla, being really smart of them, moving up all forces. See how he's, Nilla has zero units, like chillaxing in the rear. I mean, he maybe has this guy, but he's moving. But like, that's what, like, I think that's really determines the better players from the worst players. There's a lot of times we've been seeing of late where a worse player will have units in reserve to, like, doing nothing. Like, point A lot of points doing nothing on the side of the map. If you watch the Stand the Man game when he played me, he did a similar thing where he would, if he had like a blob, he had a blob of tankers over here that weren't doing anything, they couldn't push anymore. He'd drive him over to another set of the map, giving him the area. I go in for a bombing round and take out that pack gun. I get the kill. I'm trying to use my fighters now, my air superiority. No, T3485 still coming. I keep these guys in reserve so the T3485 can go first. Take a pack gun move up. I'm strafing some of the Pantagrens. Total collapse in my center. Like there is nothing here. You can see the disparity of units in the field. Yeah, I'm barely holding the north. I'm up one flag up here. Actually I'm done no flags because I'm up here and he's up here. You can get a good strafe on these. These G6s are amazing. They have the 30 millimeter cannons, they're so good. Bring up some MG 42s to push up. Try to stop a double tick. I've lost Southern Flank. This would not be the case if I had gotten those Sturm guys in here earlier. And that little mistake totally has cost me the game. But yeah, that traction at the beginning of the game totally wrecked my forces in center. And really hindered me up here. You know. So it's only good for me. Oh man, look at this. Is he gonna get a kill? What are you shooting at? Oh, there's one guy on that shell. These guys get surrounded. They're getting cut off. SS Legion are coming. They're going to destroy these Ski Jaegers. 
There's nothing really up here. So you're seeing a total collapse yet. The game's pretty much lost at this point. <laughs> I knew it too. I asked Nella, hey man, you're a good player. Let's do another two games. So the two, other two games are going to be much more um, even. And it won't be an, it won't be one one sided like this game where you totally ran me over. And like that. <laughs> I lost those two units. And you know, I, think, I thought Nilla once again being smart. I thought he'd target the T3045, but it looks like I was wrong. These are on range. So I surrender there. Didn't trade that well at all. Nilla's up really well. We look at the chronology. Takes out a pretty good amount of points here right off the bat. I do okay. But yeah, in general, though, he traded way more efficiently, especially in the last trade in the end. Made some big errors. I'll look at the deck for a second. So you guys what I was using. Come on. Load. Look at this. Long load. Come on, SD. All right, there we go. Let's uh, scroll down to my Ski Jaeger. There it is. Vanguard. So I was bringing not too many tanks, anti tanks. A lot of infantry. Like, I have a decent amount of infantry. Like, people talk about how Ski Jaeger doesn't have sustain. So I try to trick him to build sustain. I have a lot of recon and infantry together. Giving me a pretty high number of guys, you know. Almost, you know, 100. Nearly 100. A lot of MGs. Actually, no. There's two cards of them, so it's pretty much. Give me twos. I didn't, you didn't see any me bring them out. That was a tough map. The map's pretty bad for me, I think, in general. Especially no uh, flame troops, which is pretty brutal against the German Axis deck. That's so many pioneers. Um, a lot of aircraft. Not going to run out of fighters. You want to win that air war with this deck. If you lose this guy, you're done. I bring a decent amount of AA. No one really expects it. I think this is enough AA to really cover. Art of Wands are great. Anyway, this is a quick game. Next next two games will be more interesting. They'll be a lot longer and it'll be a lot tighter. So I'll see you guys around. Sorry for the short video. You know, I'm a little busy of late. So I'll see you guys around.